Hello everyone, my name is Varun Ravi Kumar and I am pursuing my PhD in the domain of deep learning for autonomous driving at value. Today, I would like to present my paper on RecDepthNet, a self-supervised monocular depth estimation using a generic framework for handling common camera distortion models. First off, I would like to present the motivation behind our work. The main motivation for estimating distances on fisheye cameras is due to its large field of view. By using fisheye cameras, we can attain a 360 degree near field perception around a vehicle. With this large FOV, we can certainly have use cases like automated parking, low speed maneuvering and emergency braking. Despite its prevalence, there is limited work on distance estimation on fisheye cameras. A brief overview as to why we are interested in depth. Well, depth is crucial when it comes to understanding the world around us, such as navigation and mapping. So if you're a robot, you would like to know where you are, where you want to go, and how far away are things. If you are going to grasp things and want to interact with the physical world around you, depth is also crucial. Finally, if you are going to do non-physical interaction, such as augmented reality, let us say, I want to place an object on the table right there. I want to know how big is this table and how far away is it. I would like to list out the main motivation for working on raw images. One of the main drawbacks of removing distortion is that it leads to a loss in field of view. For example, the image on the right, the first row shows a raw kitty image with barrel distortion and the corresponding rectified image. The red box was used to crop out black pixels in the periphery, causing a loss of FOV. The second row shows a raw woodscape image with strong fisheye lens distortion and the corresponding rectified image exhibiting a drastic loss in FOV. Secondly, resampling distortion are caused by interpolation errors during the warping step. The camera parameters, mainly focal length, can also vary due to high ambient temperatures when driving in a hot region. Thus, a model that relies on rectification to correct the distortion could have errors. For a horizontal field of view greater than 180 degrees, there are rays incident from behind the camera, making it theoretically impossible to establish a complete mapping to a lectinear report. Thus, the rectification defeats the purpose of using a wide-angle fisheye lens. It is essential to note that most of the state-of-the-art self-supervised depth estimation works are using rectified kitty images. I would also like to list out the primary motivation for developing a generic training framework. Firstly, a generic abstracted code to plug in different models and datasets. Secondly, it allows the usage of standard models such as UCM, EUCM, Double Spear, and Brown Conrady. Finally, the CNN inherently learns the model's distortion as part of the transfer function and it is only weakly encoded. Some of the challenges of fisheye distance estimation are firstly, there is no publicly available fisheye dataset, particularly for automated driving. Henceforth, we are releasing our distance estimation dataset along with our Woodscape dataset which contains other perception tasks. Off-the-shelf algorithms like OpenCV's SGM won't work for fisheye due to its substantial strong nonlinear distortions. To perform view synthesis using fisheye images, we would require scale-aware distance estimates. Non-uniform angular resolution leads to ambiguity in the center region for the network's distance estimation. Rectification elevates the above issues, but it induces resampling distortion and reduced FOV, which we saw earlier. So the proposed solution for estimating distance on the raw fisheye image is as follows. Coming to the self-supervised training strategy, let us consider three temporal consistent raw images, IT minus one, IT, and IT plus one. They are passed through the distance estimation convolutional neural network, which is an encoder-decoder based design, which outputs a distance estimate for each image in the sequence considered. 
IT-1 and IT are concatenated and passed to a POS network which predicts rotations and translation to make a transformation from IT-1 to IT and IT to IT-1. For a fisheye image, we can only obtain angular disparities compared to a rectified pinhole image. To perform view synthesis, we would require metric distance estimates to warp the source images to the target images. This was one of the main challenges to perform fisheye distance estimation. To do so, we solve the scale factor ambiguity at training time by considering the ego car's speed into account. We scale the estimated translation from the pose network with a simple velocity time model to obtain metric distance maps. By introducing scale awareness to the network as shown in the previous slide, we can obtain metric distance maps as the output. This avoids scaling of the distance using LIDAR ground truth maps at test time. This mainly facilitates the distance maps practical use case for self-driving cars. Coming to the losses, we introduce a photometric error warp for both forward and backward sequences. More constraints are enforced by adding a cross-sequence consistency loss. The induced bundle adjustment framework due to this loss jointly optimizes the camera poses within a sequence by increasing the baseline and also provides additional constraints during training. We propose a generic training framework that can work with any camera model of choice. For example, the input to the network can be the data from the kitty and rectified or fisheye images from the Woodscape dataset. For the unread depth net training, we employ the self-supervised training regime which was explained earlier. We perform the unprojection from image to camera coordinates during the view synthesis operation to synthesize the target view. During this phase, the projection model required to perform the unprojection can be of any choice given the pre-calibrated setup. Any one of the listed standard models can be used in our generic training framework. Finally, we perform the projection from the camera to image coordinates. We also solve the scale ambiguity using the vehicle's odometry data. The figure shown here depicts an entire overview of our generic framework. The main contributions of our work are listed as follows. A generic end-to-end self-supervised training strategy on raw distorted images for various camera models, an empirical evaluation of our approach on Woodscape, Kitty rectified and unrectified dataset, first demonstration of depth estimation on the Kitty unrectified dataset. We obtain state-of-the-art results on Kitty rectified depth estimation among self-supervised methods. Coming to the quantitative results, we showcase the results on the Kitty rectified and unrectified as well as fisheye images. Kitty rectified results outperform almost all state-of-the-art molecular approaches. The Kitty distorted results are better than most of the previous outcomes obtained with self-supervised methods on the corresponding rectified dataset. We do not scale our predictions with LIDAR ground truth during test time as we achieve scale aware depth and distance estimates. Let us see some qualitative results from our model on Kitty unrectified, rectified and fisheye woodscaped test sequences respectively. In this figure, we can see the qualitative comparison on all three datasets. The first row indicates the Kitty rectified followed by the Kitty unrectified and finally the Woodscape dataset. I would like to showcase some results from our unrect depth net model using a generic training framework on the Kitty unrectified test sequences. Also, let us look into some results on the fisheye Woodscape dataset where our model produces sharp distance estimates and incorporates the distortion introduced by fisheye images which can be seen in the top left and right images. Due to the strong usage of subpixel convolution, let us look into few test snippets from the fisheye Woodscape dataset.
Finally, we showcase the depth estimation results on the KTE rectified dataset compared with previous state of the art approaches. Our generic training framework obtains superior results compared to previous state of the art approaches. I would like to conclude our work where we introduce a generic self supervised structure from motion training strategy to handle distorted images using various camera models. A novel self supervised training strategy to obtain metric depth or distant maps on unrectified fisheye and kitty images. We also establish state of the art results on Woodscape and kitty datasets. To encourage further research in this area, we will make our Woodscape dataset public. An overview of the Woodscape dataset with different perception tasks and annotations with distance estimation being part of it will be made public. Well, that's it from my side. Thanks everyone for your interest in our work. Kindly check out our paper under DepthNet.